Hey everyone, welcome back to Step Into Your Dream. Today we are going to clear up one of the simplest yet most commonly confused topics in nursing and the medical field, the difference between signs and symptoms. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to just give you a quick example. Imagine a patient walks into the clinic and says, I feel dizzy and I have a headache. Now pause right there. What the patient just said, are those signs or symptoms? Correct, those are symptoms because they are what the patient feels or experiences. Things we as healthcare providers cannot see or measure directly. Here is the trick to remember. Symptoms are subjective. They come from the patient's subjective experience. Think pain, nausea, dizziness, fatigue, or anxiety. You can't measure them with your stethoscope or your blood pressure cuff, but you have to listen to your patient. Now, on the other hand, signs are objective findings. They are what you can see and measure or observe as a nurse or healthcare provider. For example, a fever of 102 degree, a rash, a swollen ankle, or an abnormal heart rhythm on an EKG. All of these are measurable or you can observe them, right? So you can observe all of these signs even if the patient doesn't say a word. If patient reports, my throat hurts. You as a nurse observing and finding that throat appears red and inflamed. See the difference? The pain is a symptom, but that redness and inflammation that you see is a sign. All right, future nurses and healthcare pros, let's do quick quiz. I'll name a few examples and you tell me if it's sign or symptom. Okay, shortness of breath. Exactly, it's a symptom. Low oxygen saturation on the monitor. Great, yes, that's a sign. Nausea. Perfect, that's a symptom. Vomiting. Exactly, that's a sign. Easy, right? So you've got this. So remember, symptoms are what the patient tells you. They are all subjective. And signs, they are what you can observe and measure. And they are objective. Perfect. When you combine both, you get a complete clinical picture to guide your nursing care and decisions. If this video helped you clear up things, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your classmate, and subscribe to Step Into Your Dream right now for more fun and simple nursing lessons. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep stepping into your dream. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.